Hi, I'm Lippy. And I'm Grumpy. Together we're Lippy and Grumpy Do Podcasting. In each podcast we'll be ignoring the important issues of the day and rambling through a variety of topics. And hopefully we'll be able to convince some guests to take part too. So we have a number of matters arising from last week, Lippy. We um, do, we I do. Think, I think we were both quite shocked by the number of downloads. Definitely. Uh, I was expecting only, only one or two, but um, it was... it was Almost hit 100. Well, let's call it 100, shall we? Let's, let's just yeah. round up, do a bit of Sylvia rounding, as it mm. were. So a um, couple of things that I have to, uh, to clarify. Obviously, in an attempt to avoid the phrase Mrs. Grumpy, I actually referred to your mother as my husband which is incorrect lippy's mother is my wife there's no other combination there so uh, apologies for the confusion cause there uh, also in the uh, in the excitement of the digital pregnancy test i use the term led and lcd to describe the screen so those of you of a display disposition will know it's in fact an lcd screen liquid crystal display uh, not a light emission diode I didn't even know that's what that meant. Oh, you do now. Every day <laughs> is that. a school day. School mm. day. I'm pleased to report that the seven o'clock alarm seems to have disappeared. Um, so oh, either the person has returned or somebody has broken in and smashed the alarm clock into uh, little pieces. So one of those has happened. That was quite detailed. Smash. Do you know? Did you do that? I'm, I am not going to comment. <laughs> I'm not going to comment. Um, and you quite rightly said about the downloads, it doesn't mean that anybody's listened to more than the first five minutes. Mm. Um, it does just mean it was downloaded. It does just mean it was downloaded. But at least it means people were interested to listen. True, yes, they were. they, they downloaded they, it. Yes, they were good enough to download it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we get any statistics about how, how far they got through before they gave up. Um, but oh, it's certainly, some premium thing there, isn't it? Well, probably pay more money. Mm-hmm. Yes, almost certainly. Um, th- what was interesting is nobody mentioned the editing cock up at the end, and unfortunately, mm. Mr. Cock up did visit the edit suite, and um, I managed to overlay the what's on this week and your um, plug for a job um, together, which just ended in just noise Gobble and garble. Cube. Yes, but nobody nobody mentioned that. If you know me, that is quite normal, though, for me to talk gob- gobbledygook. Goop, goop. So. Being able to pronounce it would be a start. <laughs> and play a musical instrument at the same time. So uh, if you are looking for somebody that speaks gobbledygook, can't spell geese, and can play a musical instrument at the same time, then... Uh, the oh, it's not just woman. geese. I can't spell anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is quite tricky, the A in yeah. the N. Yes, mm. indeed. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do, I had some interesting contact from people I haven't uh, spoken to for a while. My a friend of mine, an ex colleague in Australia, uh, who has a very bizarre sense of humour and, and a very odd outlook on tomatoes. So I, I'm, hopefully we'll get him on at some point um, because oh, his, yeah. his weirdness is, is phenomenal. Um, when I worked with him, we had to uh, restrict him to an hour of obscure this. <laughs> which is quite interesting. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and another friend of mine that we met on the Italian job uh, last year, uh, who's a farmer, uh, suggested that the uh, creature eating my sweet corn and fruit could be a badger. Oh, and I did see that yeah, yes, on your Facebook. indeed. And mm-hmm. apparently there's not a lot you can do, really, if it's a badger. So uh, hopefully it's something small and easily deterred rather than a, a brawny badger, which nobody really wants no. mm. so what have you been up to this week so i played netball for the first time uh since february which was interesting enough on a fitness level because i was exhausted and i d- if anyone listening plays netball i was playing goalkeeper which means i don't really have to do much anyway and i was shattered but these new i know we said we wouldn't talk about covid but these new rules that you have to do to play netball are just something else. They're, they start off okay. Instead of marking, I think it's three feet away, it has to be four feet away if you're face-to-face, which kind of makes sense. You're not breathing on each other too much. Um, but if you're running, you can be as close as you want and like bump into each other like you normally would, which, yeah, as long as you're moving. So I got told off because I was stood next to someone under the post 
because I wasn't moving. But I jumped up and down on the spot and then that was okay, apparently, <laughs> which so, I thought was strange. So running and jumping up and down on the spot's okay. You can, yeah. You can be a bit closer. Mm. But jumping up and down on the spot for me means I'm breathing more because I'm not fit. Mm. So I'm just making it worse anyway. Uh, yeah. But then the best one was is we scored and I shouted, well done. And the goal shooter next to me goes, oh, just so you know, you might get told off for that. And I was like, we're saying, what? are we not allowed to praise each other anymore? And it's not that, it was that you're not allowed to shout across the court unless you're calling for the ball because it's excessive, like, breathing. So I'm excessively giving out germs that don't need to be given out or something like that. Well, it's, it sort of makes sense. So maybe, maybe they're just trying to stop you talking quite so much. Uh, on, on maybe. But presumably if you shouted, well done, can I have the ball now? Oh, it'd be fine. Yeah, so just just suffix every mm. sentence with, um, "Can I have the ball now?" And yeah, that, and you'll be fine. But it was a bit nuts, to be honest. It took me a while to get my head round, especially as I know my other half can't play football, but he used to play football. Um, that they haven't changed anything. Oh, they don't, no, they have. Sorry, instead of throwing in the ball, they can they have to kick in the ball. So there's no one touching the ball with their hands. But oh, okay. There again, like no differences for them other than that. So, what does the goalkeeper do then if he can't touch? Oh, they're the wearing ball? gloves though, so it's. Oh uh, yeah, I suppose so. More hygienic. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Well, I, I discovered something having had a uh, photographed driving license for the last fourteen, fifteen years, is that if you look on the back in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little hologram photograph of yourself. No. Yeah, I, I of caught yourself. it. I, yeah, I, I had to send a picture for some sort of authentication, and um, as I twisted it, I caught the light, and I recognised my um, <laughs> grumpy face. face in it, basically, which was which was a bit of a surprise. Um, I was very excited about that. Unfortunately, um, wife of grumpy wasn't not quite so excited, but I suppose you know, being wife. Did she know it was there though? Uh, she does now. Didn't before, uh, but. Um, I'm definitely going to check mine out in a minute. Definitely. Well, it might be it's a fairly recent one because I managed to snap mine in half. Um, uh, mine's quite old. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're there for the start or Oh, or I can not. let you know. But, um, and I've seen some Christmas adverts um, almost the moment that we uh, said we hadn't seen any. <laughs> uh, there was one for a photo printing company on the television. And oh. uh, I've also had one from our local garden centre as well. Which is a it's a garden centres are a topic I'd like to cover in the future because okay. I don't quite understand them. But um, oh, but a garden centre lunch. That's what I don't <laughs> understand. Why would you go to a garden centre for lunch? That just seems you, you wouldn't you wouldn't go to a pub for some um, seed onions or some cut flowers. So why would you go to a garden centre? for Depends how many beers you have for the cut flowers. Well, that's called theft. That's. that's <laughs> That's very different. Uh, I have no news from the allotment this week, apart from my uh, onions have turned up, but um, haven't made it anywhere near the ground. Anything from the sewing room? Not this week, actually. I've been a bit busy, so I've started another bag. Not finished it. Excellent. We ought to put some pictures up somewhere, or maybe we should start an Instagram feed or whatever. We'll put a link to my soon-to-have Etsy page. Oh, excellent. Mm, Then you can buy it. Excellent. <laughs> and are they horrendously overpriced? Uh, they won't be. They'll be fifteen pounds for a bag. That seems very cheap for the amount then, of effort you put in. And then there'll be a skirt, which is ten pounds, and and then then matching headband, which is the kind of thing I was going for. Is matching matching because who doesn't like matching clothing? Me. Um, uh, me. And then <laughs> do not. No. It's identical matching. It's not like colour coordinating uh, it's identical matching oh uh, okay I, no mm. I don't do any of that so <laughs> uh, col- colours I don't deal with at all that's that's not my department no uh, colour oh, blindness well done. though good excellent well we look forward to seeing that and obviously we'll give that a bit of a push on, on here as well which, thank, uh, thank you every little yes. helps <laughs> uh, well indeed yes it does it does it does it does right so for this week um, we've got uh, we've got four topics this week to discuss um and the first one is all yours the first one is all mine and the first one is all female impregnation 
which is hard to say unless you really think about saying it. <laughs> yes, you have to concentrate. Um... Yeah. So the, the thing I miss most about having a job is the drive to and from, because whenever I was driving, I'd always have the radio on and it would always normally land in the same time that the news was on. So I, I used to have a lot of like fun news facts, um, which I just don't get anymore because I'm not driving anywhere. But the other day I got in my car, was going to the shops and heard this thing about all female impregnation and that somebody had managed to fertilise... I had mixed it up a bit. They fertilised an egg with a sperm made from female bone marrow, which means it's two women's baby. And then that baby will only ever make a female baby because of the chromosomes that are in it. So then the world will be run by women. Men are obsolete at that point. I think we're generally obsolete past our well, the, uh, 30s, unless you're Bernie Eccleston <laughs> and keep producing children until uh, a very old age. Um, I have a couple of things with this. Mm. Uh, number one is you do realise the radio works indoors. So you can listen to the radio and not be in your car. <laughs> I do know that. Presumably that means you have to get up a little bit earlier than you have been. Um, but uh, yes, it is, so. it is. But yes. So I think mm. the real issue here is what time you get up, not the fact that you drunk. True. Yes. Okay. So that's number one. <laughs> number two is why would we want to do this? Well, as a male, why would you want to do that? But as a female? Mm, yes. But you look back at other such medical so-called advances uh, we talk about uh, cloning sheep for example dolly the sheep that was cloned this is sort of the start of most horror films or films with a horrendous dystopian ending where uh, is everything, everything is in flames basically mm. and and the, either the machines or these um, sheep that can walk talk and operate other machinery are in charge um, yeah. and I'm not suggesting women shouldn't be in charge for, for one moment but fiddling with mother nature is uh, we, what have we learned? Uh, not a good idea and also the the weirdest part of the um, what's it called it wasn't a news article it was a published oh, there scientific was a, yes. document that I read yes. was that we'll use myself I could donate my own bone marrow to be turned into a sperm to then fertilise one of my own eggs so I could have a baby that was fully from my DNA. Then that's too far, I think. I think that's too far. I mean, you look at... I mean, you know, we've got a, a, a friend who's a, a vet and um, he, he likes to discuss about animals and crossbreeding and stuff like that and having too much inbreeding where you, you know, you're too mm -hmm. close in terms of the, the, the mother and father in terms of what well, presumably cousins. ancestral tree yes cousins yeah. um, <laughs> and you know and that and that that's also true for humans as well so any you know any species on earth really if if you're not increasing the gene pool there's all sorts of bad things that happen and you end up with breeds of dog for example that have fundamental flaws in the way that they're their bodies are and, mm. and they suffer as a result well that article did say this they haven't quite got it to the point where if they were to impregnate someone to see how it went that there wouldn't be a lot of complications with it they'd you'd come out with some won wonky children to start with by the sounds of it well, well i think so and you, you could be you know you could be raising children that have fundamental flaws in their health which would be a very mm. bad thing um clearly you know uh two ladies making a child is a lot better than two blokes doing it because we just <laughs> it would just be a nightmare you'd end up with this child you wouldn't know what to do with it um and it would get left in the corner of the workshop and <laughs> be eating iron filings and dust presumably for for most of its life so uh, they've got that bit the right way around but i, I think I, I, I it worries me whenever i hear about these mm. medical experiments and fiddling with dna and stuff mm. like that it just because they have done it on mice and there have been just female mice giving birth to female mice. But the lifespan hasn't been very long, which is why they haven't tried it on humans yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I am just I just think with all that we've got in the world in terms of you know cancer and illnesses, mm -hmm. and not to mention the one that we don't talk about, 